In the previous video, which you can check up top, we looked at how to share functions between files in a multi-file project. Uh, in today's video, we'll take a look at how to define global functions. Now, what do I mean by global functions? Because as we talked in the last video, in C, basically all the functions are global and can be called from everywhere. But that's not our intention. Whenever we make a function, we don't necessarily want them to be called everywhere. So, uh, there's a convention on how to actually create a file that holds all these global functions that we actually want to be able to be used everywhere uh, without much hassle, without much uh, difficulty finding them. Okay, so suppose we have, let's say, here we have main.c and main2.c, and suppose we have just another file, and we're going to call it main3.c in this case, and in this file, suppose we have basically the same function, uh, but it's called other function2, let's say, and it's also going to be used in the get sum function. That's the most important part. How can we make it so that all these files can share a function? Okay, so we have main 3.c that uses get sum, we have main 2.c that uses get sum, and we're gonna also have main.c that uses this get sum. Let's say I'm going to call it, um, let's say, let's multiply this, and let's say get sum here. This is going to call the other function from our main 2.c. So it's, so this guy is going to call the main 2 uh, get sum. And this guy I'm going to call other function 2. And that's going to call the main 3.c uh, get sum. So basically we're using get this function get sum in every single of our source files. Okay. And I'm going to have to define this second function here. And everything should be working. If I try to launch this now, let's say GCC, and try to uh, compile it, I'm going to also add main 3.c, of course. And if I do compile it, we do get a warning saying that get sum is not declared in this uh, main 3.c, because of course it isn't, if you notice. So we actually have to add this, this declaration here. And now if I clear and try to compile it, as you can see, we don't get any errors. And now we can actually just run it and it should be fine. Let's change this a little bit. Let's say this is 15, this is 20 and 20, and this is 25 and 25. And I'm going to say here sum from main. Is that sum from main 2? Is that one? And sum from main 3? Is that one? And I'm going to make this a little bit larger so that you can see everything. Okay. And now if I try to compile this and run it. It's going to work and it's going to show me all the results for all the functions that were being called. Now, for all intents and purposes, this really actually gives us a global function. This get sum function is already defined in, in main2.c and it's being used in all the other files properly. The issue is I have to know the signature of the function. And while that's fine, um, if I want to use many more functions, let's say that, are, that in this file there are many more functions that I want to use across multiple files, that's going to get tedious. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to create a file called global.c or however you want to call it. And I'm going to put in here all the definitions of the global functions. So for example, get sum is going to be moved here. Okay. And now that I moved get sum into this global.c, I also have to add it to the compilation. And I also have to make, make it so that main2 knows about this uh, get some function. Okay. Now, if we compile this, I'm going to clear and compile this with global.c added, it's going to work perfectly fine. Because now, what do we have here? Well, we have three declarations of get some. One here, one here, and one here. And we have one definition of get sum inside global.c. Perfect. Now to solve this issue with the declaration being in every single file, we have to create another file. And that file is called global.h. Global.h is sort of the counterpart of the global.c file. And this counterpart, this is the header file, sort of the, uh, the public portion of that file. And what's really going to be there? Well, 
what's the public version of the definition of a function? That's its declaration, right? This is what you need to know. The declaration is what you need to know for you to be able to use it. So I can just paste in here the declaration of the function of the get sum function and instead of actually putting the declaration in every single file I can simply include this file global uh, with double quotes of course global dot h in every single place I'm using this get sum function even in main.c we can do it and there we go now, because global.h is included, we don't need to add it to the compilation because uh, including it basically means the preprocessor is going to read the file, is going to copy and paste it instead of that include the uh, directive. So now if I try to compile this, let me clear first everything, compile it and run it, it's going to work perfectly fine. Now the question is why do we actually need this? global.h file. Can't we just use the global.c file and include it instead of the global.h? It seems kind of redundant, right? Well, let's see what happens. Let's say we don't have this global.h file. I'm going to actually close it. We don't have it anymore. And instead of it, I'm going to use the global.c file. I'm going to include it everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to include a c file. And in fact, you can do this. You can include any sort of file in, uh, in the hashtag include directive. The preprocessor, the preprocessor doesn't really care uh, whether it's a C file or an, or an H file. They are the same. They are both C source files. There's nothing different about them. It's just a convention that we're using. Either way, we're going to include here global.c, global.c here, and global.c here. And now it's going to be interesting. If we try to compile this, it's not going to work. And it's not going to work because we have multiple definitions of get sum. Can you try and guess why that happens? That actually happens because this includes directive, what it does is it copies the contents of the file and it pastes it in its stead. So we're just kind of copy and paste it. Now the problem isn't with this, it's with the fact that we're using this include everywhere. So it gets pasted everywhere in here. Now basically because the definition of get sum is found in every single file, as I said in a previous video, you cannot really have that in a compilation unit, right? You can only declare it multiple times, but you can only define it once, the functions themselves, right? Therefore this compile is going to give me an error saying that we have found multiple definition of get sum and rightfully so we have it in uh, main.c we have it in main2.c we have it in main3.c even in global.c we have it but that doesn't matter again if i remove global.c i'm still going to get the same error okay and that is why including the c file itself the one that's supposed the one that's supposed to have the definition of the functions that you're working with usually doesn't uh, end well, okay? While you might get away with just one include of the global.c. So for example, if I comment out here the uh, include of global.c in main2 and main3, and let's say we do it like this, and let's say we have it only once here, if I try to compile it now, so I'm going to clear the terminal and I try to compile it, you're going to notice that I only get warnings and, and those warnings are, are from these declarations. So you would think that, oh, okay, this kind of works. But the second you actually add another include of this C file, everything breaks. So see, I'm going to get just one and it's going to give me the error that it did find multiple definitions of this get sum. So this is really the correct way of having global functions in a C project. You could also add some uh, header guards, which I'm going to take a look at a later video, but basically this is the most, I think, simplest to apply and the most organized way in which you can share functions between files. Because as you might have noticed with the previous way of sharing functions between files, I had to kind of 
pass along the declarations on every single file like I have here, but I had to have the declaration of get some here while the, the definition was in main.c and for this other function here it would be the other way around and it would be very difficult to follow. This way we have all the declarations inside one file called global.h so there they are you can add more if you want and then their definitions are always going to be found in global.c without much fuss you have to you don't have to search around to find them and that's about it for this video i hope you got something out of it and uh, if you do have any questions leave them down comments below or on our discord server again the source code for everything can be found down in the description below on our website take care